Hello everyone, my name is Hassan, and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we're going to talk about another regression algorithm called support vector regressor. It's similar to the linear regression algorithm we have talked about before in terms of predicting a continuous value and the straight line equation is referred in the support vector regression regressor as an hyperplane and the observation close to the hyperplane are called support vectors and they are used as a decision line. Any point existing within this tube it's not used to evaluate the error for updating the hyperplane coefficient. So previously in the linear regression, we used uh, the cost function to update uh, the alpha and the beta components or coefficients in the equation of the straight line. And now for updating the equation of this hyperplane, we can just ignore those uh, points that exist within this tube. And hence SVR gives us the flexibility to, def to define how much error is acceptable in our model and we'll find an appropriate line or hyperplane in higher dimension to fit the data. So now let's check the Python uh, code needed for this, uh, for applying SVR. So here we're gonna import the required libraries, NumPy, uh, Pandas, and Matplotlib. Uh, we're gonna use the posi position salaries.csv uh, data provided from Super Data Science it's showing the position and the level and we're trying to uh, forecast the salary based on the level so we're gonna uh, read it through the pandas data frame we're gonna check uh, set the x parameter to be the level the y to be the salary and we're gonna reshape y in order to use it in the standard scalar uh, feature engineering so here you can see the x and y this is why after being reshaped as a uh, vector we're gonna uh, apply feature scaling to have a common scale for uh, x and uh, for for the salary of course different standard scalers but they all uh, different uh, different standard scalar objects for x and y and from scikit-learn we're gonna import uh, the support vector regressor using an rbf uh, kernel RBF is the radial basis function used to transform uh, the dimension or to reduce the dimension for uh, non-linear uh, non-linear separable data sets so we're gonna fit our regressor over here those are the uh, the model descriptions uh, we're gonna do uh, a predict we're gonna use the predict to uh, to, pre to we're the predict function to try predicting at the 6.5 level but if you notice over here we have to apply the transformation using the same transformer used for the for the training data 6.5 wasn't observed before with the model uh, and then after predicting it we up we're applying the inverse transform of it to get the real value so if i remove this inverse transform gonna see a minus 0.2 which has no sense in, uh, in relevant uh, values for the salary because this is the uh, standardized value so we have to do this inverse transform uh, transformation to get the real value and it's showing showing 170k it's kind of relevant actually to what we have like number between six and seven of course, this uh, this data set is very small. We're just trying to uh, to show you the to show you the functions and the process. Uh, same steps can be applied on any data set, except for the feature engineering. And if if you're gonna if you're gonna model or create new features, uh, we're gonna also plot uh, the prediction curve, as you can see over here. Uh, those are uh, those are the predictions of course those are the predictions on the training data set and this is it for today thank you for watching and stay tuned for if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment below don't forget to subscribe 
to know when future videos are posted. And thank you for watching.